Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Sandisa Tarot. It's a Felicity here and this is a three month forecast for you and from October to December. So now I would like you to pick one deck and then after choosing a deck I will use that deck to read for you for what is coming up for you for the next three months from October to December. So this is deck number one deck number two and deck number three so you only need to choose one deck okay now I will start with deck number one okay wait a minute Need the scarf to cover up the two decks. Okay, so this is uh, deck number one. Um, we are looking at what is in manifestation for the people who choose deck number one from October to December. Okay, first let's start with October energy for the people who choose deck number one. What is in store? For those who have chosen that number one in October, October energy. For the people, viewers who have chosen that number one. Okay. And let's see what is in store for those of you who have chosen that number one in October. The manifestation for the month of October 2018. So let's see what's going to happen for those of you who have chosen that number one in October, October energy. Okay, let's see. This card flip over, and so I will just include this card as well okay it feels like um, there is a two con contrasting energy going on uh, there's a you know a sense of serenity um, a sense of calmness or at least wanting to be calm and then there's a sense of rushing things through and a host hostile energy going on maybe there's something that you need to fight for and uh, yes uh, it's a contrasting energy so why you would like to fight for something um, because you feel like uh, you you have no control over certain things maybe uh, it concerns your dreams and hopes and expectations and then uh, your dreams and hopes and expectations uh, bring uh, conflicts so there's a conflict going on between you and others and you feel like you need to defend yourself and because others do not approve of your dreams and hopes or expectation so uh, you feel like you need to take action to defend yourself, defend your dreams. And I see that, uh, yes, it, it, it's hostile energy going on. But then you would like to calm down, but others would not stop. So you need to defend yourself. Um, at the beginning, you just let it be. At the beginning, you just uh, let everything uh, be. Let others do what they need to do and you just sit and relax and trying to calm down. Um, but then things reveal to you. So uh, maybe others trying to take out things about you and 
this is something that you protect. So I feel like maybe you are protecting your dream and protecting something that you feel you have. This can be uh, a job. You may be holding on to a job or a situation or something that is of value to you. So uh, since you feel like you, since you are holding on this and you are not letting go, and and when things got revealed to you, and when others take out things that you do not want us just to know, then you become defensive. Yes. Um, you do not reveal a lot about yourself and you feel like others are very aggressive, other people are very aggressive. Uh, they're just trying to know more about you and and yet you are not ready to reveal so much about yourself. Uh, so you become very defensive, defending uh, what you have, defending finance, defending situation, uh, holding on to the dream. Yes, so um, I feel like Yes, I feel there's a defending, defensive energy going on. You like, the thing is that you like to be in control. And when things are not in control, you just become very defensive and trying to hold on to something. You're not willing to let go. And, you know, when you reach out to, to something, so when you feel like you're losing something or some situation and some people, then you do not feel comfortable letting go. You do not feel comfortable. You, your sense of peace got uh, disturbed. So you trying to be aggressive and defend a certain position. This can be a certain position, this can be a job position, um, this can be like you used to be in a very comfortable situation and then when things happen, sl any slight change will disturb you and so you, in order to not to change, in order to remain the same comfortable position, you you are you become very aggressive trying to defend and not letting go. So I feel like the, the lesson here is about letting go. And uh, sometimes you really need to let go of a situation. You know, even though you were in a comfortable position and when things need to change and you need to really let it go and let it change. This can be a, a job as well. So you have a really good job uh, which pays very well but for the dream you let go of that position who offer you a high pay payment and so for the dream and then since you start working on your dreams and you find out that there are a lot of opposition, maybe family members, maybe friends, maybe people around you try to stop you from reaching out to the dream and say that you are just a dreamer and not very realistic. And so you, in order to defend your dream and you are being very aggressive. So, uh, you need to take a balance. Sometimes when you start over something new and you have a little bit of things to sacrifice. Uh, maybe sacrifice your comfort zone. And uh, yes, a lot of hard work to do as well, I feel like. And suddenly, certain changes and certain things which put you in a position that is out of control. And so it's uh, for October, it's 
for the people who choose uh, deck number one, October is uh, about serenity from peace to a lot of hard work, uh, releasing something, defending something, and yet, even though mentally you need to defend something and emotionally you need to stay calm, the card is telling you to stay calm in the midst of all the chaos. Let's see how you can deal with the energy better. The advice card for people who choose number deck number one for October, October energy. Let's see. Transformation, yes. I said that there's just uh, certain changes coming in for you, for you to transform. So the card encourage you to step out of your comfort zone. And sometimes what kind the things that you think you possess need to be released and this really help you to to move forward yes moving forward and not to try to control things because the more you control the more difficult it becomes for you and even though it feels like it is too late you know when when there's news coming in for you and when there's news coming in and even though you are trying to fight against it it's already too late because this is the universe the star you know it's a it's a new universe working behind the scene cosmic energy and it asks you to step out of your comfort zone to let go of your possession to let go of something or someone or some situation that is of value to you but the universe thinks that okay now you are ready to go into the next phase of your life so the transformation card comes in to tell you it's time to transform in october okay so now let's move on to november let's see november energy okay I'll keep the card here and let's see the November energy. This is for people who chosen that number one, the November energy for the people who have chosen that number one. November energy. What is in store for people who have chosen that number one in November? Or how things unfold how things will unfold in November for people who have chosen that number one how things unfold Yes, that is why, you know, that number one, people who choose that number one, that is why in October you need to let go. It's because suddenly something come up in November. After letting go, and in November, you know what, Ace of Wands, something new, some kind of inspiration, some kind of very fast moving energy coming in to you that is why in October you need to let go so trust the universe trust the in angel guidance it feels like uh, this new project this sense of newness it's always with you so maybe you will start working picking up the old project the past job position some of you will go back to the past job position or uh, there's a sense of uh, old energy 
you know, uh, at the first glance, it feels like there's something new. But then you begin this energy, you begin, you begin this energy long time ago. Uh, there may be a seven year cycle going in. So this is the beginning of uh, some of you. This is the beginning of a seven year cycle for you. And this is some for another for another group. It's uh, the past seven years accumulated success or accumulated work that brings you to this point. So uh, yes, that is why it's November it feels like there's a sense of uh, nostalgic feeling, uh, the past success. Or maybe you you don't even know it yet, but the things coming in for you in November it's uh, accumulated energy. Uh, you know you have been working and working for the past seven years, and now suddenly the opportunity comes in to you. Maybe you have been studying for certain things for seven years, and suddenly the opportunity come and you are able to use what you have been learning for the past seven years and put it into practice. So for some of you, it's a complete new beginning to the start of a seven year cycle. And for some of you, it's about accumulated success because you have been working for the past seven years. And then now the opportunity comes and then you are able to grab it. You are able to handle this job very well because you have been learning and learning you are well prepared. So congratulations. Yes, it's a, a sense of success. It's a grounded energy as well. Yes, it's a it's a long process, but then it, you it's all well deserved because you have been working for the past seven years or even a decade to lead you to this point. Mm, for some of you, uh, you know, I feel like some of you are getting a little bit of regret because of certain things come up to you and it leads you to some kind of regrets. Maybe for the past seven years or a decade, some of you have been working very hard and neglecting, neglecting the romantic feelings. I feel like you are regretting about an opportunity that came up to you seven years ago or a decade ago and you are very successful in your career but then you are you feel like you are missing the home life maybe you have neglected the to spend family time with your family maybe you regret you look back at this point in November and you regret not saying yes to the proposal or you regret not saying yes to the person that offer you something and it, it feels like it's out of uh, it feels like it's out like suddenly that passion ignites and you doubt about yourself and and so you let it go and so uh, you have been working on your career you have been working on your own uh, independence and you at this point in November you suddenly regret about it um, I see some of you regret not having a family and you you regret uh, not taking that chance and not uh, taking a risk and stick to the very stable very uh, stable and and comfortable life and now you you are like you know even though you are surrounded by a lot of pentacles you are surrounded by a lot of um good things in life you're even though you are very comfortable in life suddenly you feel like you regret something you look back and you regret something you miss something or you miss someone okay you miss something you miss a situation you miss uh uh certain people in your life Okay, let's see the advice card. Let's see advice for people who choose not that number one. November. What is the advice card? What to do? What 
to do. In November, advice card for November. How to deal with the energy? Okay, past. Yes, exactly. This card, okay, past. Through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart's space. Okay, the card is telling you not to get any kind of regrets. You know, when you have regrets, that means you have grown up because the past decision, that decision that you made in the past, it's dependent on your maturity in that past, your situation in the past, and your mentality. So sometimes when you make that certain decision in the past, it's it's about your mentality, your maturity in that past. It's it's the past self. And now you have transformed, now have, you have grown up. Of course, when you look back, there are some kind of mistakes that you realize that you have made in the past. But the good thing is that because you have grown up, you look back in the past and you realize that naive behavior, that naive feelings, that naive decision that you have made. And now you think it's naive, it's because you have grown up, you become mature. That is why uh, when you look back, you feel like, oh, that's so naive and you make certain mistakes. But that is a good thing. You know, those who have never had regret, never learned or never grown because you always, they always stay the same. That's why they have no regret. When you have grown, when you have grown up, you become mature, of course. There are certain things from the past that you wish you haven't done, all right? So release the past and transform your heart space, you know, release the energy in order to transform your heart space. In order to take the new beginning, you know, the beginning of uh, the new seven year cycle or the decade, 10 year cycle, um, some of you a nine year cycle, you need to really release it, let it go. So, so that you open up more space for the new to come in. Don't, don't feel regrets. Realize that you have grown up. Okay, now let's move on to December. Let's see December energy. For people who have chosen deck number one, December energy, let's see what is in store for people who choose deck number one, December. December energy. Let's see how things unfold. December energy. Okay. December energy, wow. You might... If December is a difficult time for you, I feel like there is someone who is going to give you something, offer you something, offer help. If you do need help and do, do not lose faith, I feel like you lose faith suddenly because suddenly something come up and you lose faith but then the universe is sending you help and you need to keep up the faith in order to receive this help i do feel like there's a help coming in for you if december goes very rough very tough for you uh some of you feel like there's a sense of uh, religious group i feel like religious group or um certainly something if you go to a certain religious group suddenly something happened to that religious group and uh someone else is coming in and then offer you some guidance or offer you some help offer you something in which 
help you to go through the difficult period of time. And it's not a big help, but then it really gets you started. It really gets you just started and not lose hope and faith. Mm. Yes, I, I feel like from October to December, you know, certainly in in November you are going doing fine, but then your mood change, your mood goes back to the past and then goes back to October, goes back to what happened in October, and then you suddenly lose faith and hope. And uh, I feel like, okay, some of you, if you are going through a divorce or some kind of uh, authority, uh, you, you have some kind of conflicts with authority, with the government or uh, with religious group or with your marriage, with something that is very stable. If you are having difficulty, trouble uh, with authority, with organization, with government or with something that is very established and stable uh, with your marriage, then, uh, you know, you feel like, for example, you are getting the, the, uh, the, the pension which you think it's not good enough, you know. I, I feel like if you are get, going through a divorce and you need to, the child support, you feel like this child support is not enough it's also tied you down to something which you do not want to go through okay in december some of you are going through a divorce and then the court case comes in and then tells you how much you get every month for the child support and you feel like this child support is not enough and so you feel disappointed because uh, you trust the authority, you trust the, the organization or um, there's a sense of betrayal, disappointment, betrayal and you feel like you have been plan planting something and and in the end, you do not get what you deserve. And this is what it feels like. For some of you, it, it feels like, yes, you might get some kind of uh, financial support, but uh, your emotional uh, disturbance do not, it's not justified by this financial support because you know, the compensation, it's the financial compensation cannot make up, cannot mend your heart, cannot really compensate on what has happened to you. And yes, this is what it feels like. And you are very disappointed that to get what you want, what you deserve. And Um, you know, maybe some of you are thinking about whether to walk away or to stay. You want to walk away. Some of you want to walk away from a situation, from something that is very stable. But then something tied you down. Uh, maybe it's a child fighting for the uh, custody. You are not willing to let this child go and you fight for this child and then when you get this child custody and you feel like you do not get enough child support child financial support is not enough um, yes let's see it's in this situation you need to have self-love yes walk away with dignity and when it comes to child support I feel like at the beginning you might rely on child support but then I do feel like it's better for you to 
to work, to really work, or to see seek help from some kind of finance, uh, some kind of. Okay, suddenly the camera stopped. Okay, uh, if you are seeking help, you know maybe it's because you're going through a divorce. Maybe you lose job. Uh, maybe certain things, certainly something very stable happened to you. To seek non-profit organization, to get help from non-profit organization. Maybe it's uh, it's uh, counseling. Maybe it's uh, marriage counseling. Maybe it's some kind of religious counseling. <laughs> or to seek help from the government. So so worker, something like that. Yes. Let's see, what what else? Okay, for people who choose that number one December, what to do? December, advice for people who choose. Let me see. Advice card. Purpose. You possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love. Yes, the card is telling you that maybe in the past you go, you went through something which is very drastic, which is very uh, disturbing, which really uh, disturb your emotions. It feels like this thing happened really destroy your peace taken out everything from you uh, but then the card uh, tells you that there's a sense of purpose there's a purpose in this the purpose is to help you uh, to have more compassion towards the people who are less fortunate maybe you feel like you are the most unfortunate person in the world but then uh, the card asks you to think twice before you say it because there are people who really who are who are even suffering a lot um, so if you have ran, go, gone through something in the past maybe in December it's about giving giving back to society join some non-profit organization to help let those who are less fortunate and if you're going through a divorce, there's a, a purpose in this. Uh, the purpose is to work with the lesson, to work through the lesson with two people. Maybe one of them is a child, another is your spouse, your ex, okay? To work it, to work through it. It's about, you know, maybe you think that it's not enough. The financial support is not enough. But the purpose is to tell you that you need to have self-love, to stand up on your own feet, and not just rely on others. And there's a, also a sense of codependency going on. Maybe you have relied on this person for a long time, and suddenly things change. In order for you to become a very well-rounded person, uh, to use both the feminine energy and the masculine energy, to act upon, to take action in order to to survive, to gain financial support for yourself, and at the same time nurture yourself and nurture others. So it's about leaving this uh, codependent relationship and set yourself free. The first thing to do is to acknowledge that you have the power to do so. All right. So this is all for the people who have chosen deck number one. Let me take a break and then come back to choose uh, deck number two. Thank you for watching. Okay, now it comes to the you know pound number two deck number two. Let's see what is in store for you who have chosen deck number two in October. October energy for the people who have chosen deck number two. What is going to happen? What October will bring to you for the people who have chosen deck number two? 
we sincerely ask for the guidance from the universe. energies that we are going to work with for the people who choose type number two. Let's see. Number two. That is on the way to manifestation in October. October energy. So let's see. October energy. Okay. I feel like there's some kind of healing to do. And October, you need to take time to rest. And if you have some kind of obsession, some kind of codependency, you need to take a rest. I feel like um, from 2016 to 2018, a lot of people are working with codependency, whether it is in a parent-child relationship or romantic relationship or some kind of business partnership. It's, you know, a lot of you, a lot of people are dealing with, let me zoom in so that you can see the card clearly are dealing with codependency breaking out from the codependency because you know when you take a rest away from your company or your business or your partnership or you break away from relationship and it feels like there are a lot of people asking you to not to take a rest, to continue doing what you have been doing. And it's it comes down to codependency. You know, um, I feel like a lot of the universe has been doing a lot of things. For example, there's uh, some kind of big change in the spiritual community. And if you're not within the community, then there's a lot of change to help you break free from the codependent relationship, codependent partnership. Sometimes you do not need a soulmate or you do not need to be in a romantic relationship in order to manifest this kind of codependency. Sometimes codependency comes in the form of parent-child relationship from like uh, audience and performance relationship. This includes YouTube community as well. Like uh, the YouTube channel guest, the YouTube host, and, and the YouTube channel guests. You know, um, the people who have been giving and giving and gain attention from a certain community, certain job, certain work, certain relationship, certain partnership, and the universe will certainly do something to help you focus on yourself, focus on what you need to take care of in your own life instead of uh, asking the, the crowd, asking the audience to give you some kind of satisfaction. So when you are taking a rest and then a lot of people coming in and ask you to continue giving and giving, and they feel like you need to go back on track in order to you know feed them like feeding them energy so uh the universe has been doing a lot of things like suddenly there are some big changes in the spiritual community maybe someone some people some teachers some gurus suddenly uh, take a rest from their YouTube channel, take a rest from the spiritual community, and take a rest from the website. And actually it gives the audience a break, gives them time to reflect on on their own life instead of seeking attention from the community. And 
yes, really take a break to heal. Um, I feel like, you know, when someone is taking a break and the audience asks you to come back or the the, the, the crowd from the community asks you to come back, it all comes down to codependency. Like uh, one is giving away the energy, taking time, energy away from working on themselves and then giving and giving to feed the whole audience, to feed the crowd. And then the crowd will take away, you know, they will watch something and then they feel like they do not need to work on themselves because the entertainment, the information given out from the spiritual community really feed them uh, because they are spending time, energy to, to look at the uh, information, to look at the website, to pay attention to the spiritual community. And that takes them away from their own life. Uh, so you can see that from year 2016 to 2018, a lot of people just suddenly, especially gurus, suddenly stop working on their own website, uh, on their own spiritual community, stop working on their own um, YouTube channel. The reason for that is because universe wants them to focus on their life, wants the guru to focus and on their life, and also want the audience to focus on their own life because sometimes the information given by the guru help the crowd to to continue to go dreamy and forget to work on themselves. So uh, when the distraction, you know, sometimes information, YouTube channel, entertainment, is create some kind of distraction for for the audience. It's some kind of distraction. And uh, when the, the distraction got taken away, people are not really accepting it and keep asking the YouTube channel ho host to keep doing what they have been doing. And, you know, when things happen, instead of looking at why Guru take a rest, why the guru take a rest? The audience need to focus on themselves. Why do you need a guru to work on their own channel to keep feeding you information? Why don't you, audience? Why don't you work on yourself in order to get all, in order to get information from the universe directly? All right. So it's you know the devil card is is here. It's obsession. It's about addiction. You know, YouTube channel can be an obsession, can be the addiction. Spiritual community can be an obsession, can be addiction. All right. Why are you looking outside? You know, this is the group of people here. Like they are trying to reach out to the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is about emotional satisfaction. Why are you looking outside? Why are you looking for this guru who are taking a rest to give you something, to give you emotional satisfaction? You know, oftentimes when spiritual guru, when, when a celebrity, when uh, someone who have been giving attention to a huge group of people, suddenly when they take a break, and people will ask, oh, why such celebrity, why this spiritual guru take a break from YouTube channel, from entertainment business, from this or that? You know, the crowd will ask this question. The crowd, instead of uh, asking this question, why guru take a break, why these people take a break? You need to ask yourself, why do you need this person to feed you? All right, it's all about this Devil card here is about the codependency. You need this guru, you need this celebrity to distract you, to create something to distract you. You know, uh, it's happened again and again from 2016 to up until now. You know, sometimes when things happen, it's very easy to pull out their chart, pull out their birth chart 
to analyze everything. But instead of analyzing their birth chart, people, the crowd, the audience, it's time for you to focus on yourself. Why do you need this person to keep entertaining you, to keep feeding you information, to keep teaching you? Why don't you crowd? Why don't you work on yourself and work on reaching out to the universe in order to get the guidance from the universe directly? You know, sometimes it's easy. You know, when when you pull out their birth chart to analyze anything and what's happening, it's all about curiosity. It's about gossip as well. Because the question is not about why this person take a break, why they are doing this, why they are no longer in the spiritual community. The question lies in the audience. You know, the audience the audience need to ask themselves the question, why do you need this guru? Why can't you let this guru go and take a rest? All right? Because it's codependency. One is keep feeding feeding the energy to, to the audience and gain attention to gain some kind of approval from the audience. And the audience gaining some information, gaining some kind of um, uh, spiritual knowledge from this guru, from this uh, person, from this uh, uh, entertainer. And then you forget about to work, work on your life. Right? Because you, you keep relying on this guru to, to give you guidance. The universe is very clear. You know, when you look back, uh, things that happened from 2016 up until now is very clear. The reason behind the working behind the scene is that things got taken away, the distraction got taken away in order for both the YouTube host, the guru, the entertainer to focus on themselves, on their own life and also for the audience, for the viewers, for the spiritual students f to focus on your own relationship between you and your own angel, your own guidance, your own relationship with the universe or with God. And that is why. That it, it's why also one of the reasons why I sometimes stop doing tarot reading on YouTube. It's because People, you need to focus on your own life and meditate on yourself and gain information directly from the universe instead of gaining information from some kind of child reading. Yes, some teachers are here to just help you see clearly about certain things, but not 100% because uh, you, you cannot forget about your lesson here. You cannot just uh, run away from your own life lesson and just let things distract you from focusing on yourself. Because when you are working on, you know, busy keep looking at the tarot reading sometimes, busy looking at the entertainer, you forget about yourself. So this is explained clearly why. And in October, it's you will come to realize, you know, people often feels like you need to meet a romantic partner in order to uh, understand the spirituality. No, you know, spirit spirituality comes in different forms. Sometimes it's a child, children, parent relationship. Sometimes in the form of, you know, entertainer, audience relationship, sometimes in the form of spiritual guru and a spiritual student relationship. You you think that you are being left out unless you get a twin flame relationship? No, you do not need to be in a twin flame soulmate relationship in order to work on this codependency. Uh, the universe wants you to be a whole person physically whole, emotionally whole, spiritually whole, mentally whole. And it all starts from within. You know, you need to work on yourself. Alright? 
Work on yourself. You are not being left out. You do not need a soulmate relationship, twin faith relationship, in order to to be a spiritual person. In order to work on your spiritual evolution, the message the message is very clear here. And this theme will be highlighted in October again. All right. So heal from this kind of codependency. First, start by stop looking outside stop looking for approval from outside look within yourself when things suddenly change suddenly you cannot reach out to the guru suddenly your spiritual community that you attend often suddenly close down it's because the universe do not want you to gain any kind of other outside influence the universe wants you to work on direct communication between you and, and the universe or direct communication between you and your higher self, your spirit guide. You can do it. The first thing to do is stop looking outside. Stop those kind of distraction. All right. It's OK that you, you look at some channel, you look up to some kind of entertainers. It's all right. But then spend time on your own to meditate, to talk to your own God, to talk to your own spirit guides. All right. So you need to understand that you are whole. It's like you keep, you believe in yourself. You can do it. All right. So this is very clear. To break out this kind of uh, unhealthy relationship, unhealthy bond. This does not need to be a romantic relationship. All right. So start working on it. It's not too late. This I already answered your question. This explain why from 2016 up until now, a lot of spiritual guru. A lot of spiritual communities, a lot of entertainers stop doing what they have been doing and return to focus on themselves, to take a rest, to focus on themselves. And then the, the crowd, the audience still didn't understand and still pull out their birth chart and see, OK, why this guru uh, stop doing this and that. Work on yourself, people. Instead of asking why they stop doing what they have been doing, ask yourself, why don't you focus on yourself? Okay. Especially your emotions and feelings tell you what you need to work on. Especially when you cannot accept that this guru, this community closed down. Focus on your feelings or emotions. Your emotions can tell you that you cannot let go. All right, that you have this kind of codependent uh, tendency within you. All right, ask yourself, why do you need this guru? Why do you need to be in this community in order to feel emotional, stable, emotional, satisfied? You know, it's unhealthy, especially uh, unhealthy to the point that you forget to connect to God, forget to connect to the universe yourself. All right. So this is very clear. Okay, now let's move on to November energy for the people who have chosen deck number two. Deck number two energy. Let's see. What is universe guidance? what the guidance that we get from the universe for two people two viewers who have chosen deck number two let's see November manifestation energy that is going on 
in November, November situation. What is in store for those who have chosen deck number two? Let's see. Okay. I feel like there is truth comes out and there may be some kind of offer and maybe you maybe someone is not happy with with some with this kind of offer I feel like some of you there's some kind of change at home some kind of change in your business um, and especially it feels like um, in winter time okay autumn time you realize some truth in autumn you realize some truth or you gain some kind of offer But then you are holding on to it. You're holding on to the uh, stability, and then you are not letting. You are not letting go. Um, some of you, it concerns your business, your company, and uh, some kind of business partnership, and some of you concerns about family. There's some kind of offer, happen some kind of new offer happen at home or some kind of new offer uh, in the company in a business partnership and emotionally you feel like you feel so tired emotionally because someone is holding on to something and not giving you some kind of value all right so I, I feel like if you are in a family situation, someone it's holding on to uh, the truth, it's holding on to some kind of financial situation and not giving. Uh, it can be emotionally not giving. You know, sometimes when they are emotionally not available to you, even though they are in a business partnership or relationship with you uh, they are not willing to give you some truth they are not willing to give you some kind of value they are not willing to give you some kind of financial support it's because they are not giving emotionally sometimes emotion linked to the finance all right I feel like there's some kind of truth coming in. You finally realize that uh, a person is it's not available. Okay, uh, there are a lot of situation here. Some of you suddenly realize that someone is not available. It's got a family, and in winter time, everything surrounding this situation just fade away and this person still keeps giving you some contact and you're just like very tired from this kind of partnership from this kind of situation and still you're, you're not moving forward even though you know the truth okay Let's see. Let's see the advice. Advice card here. Advice for people chosen that number two. November situation. November. Trust. You have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition. Yes. I feel like your intuition already tells you that this person, this business partnership, this kind of relationship is not 
giving you satisfaction, especially when it comes to your feelings, emotions. You find out the truth, and you already know. Your intuition already tells you that you know. It feels like this person cannot give you a promise, and you may not want to accept this truth. But it's very clear in November. In November, it's very clear. It feels like concerns a family. I feel like it concerns a family. And it can be a business partnership. Um, I feel like in autumn, is things become very clear, and in December, the card asks you, you know, to move on so that the new energy can come in. The people who are ready to give you emotionally, who are emotionally available, can come in. But first, you need to really, really move on from this kind of stagnant energy, because the energy I'm I'm feeling in November for people who choose that number two is stagnant energy here. Is stagnant energy. But it's time for you to move forward. Do not wait for this person to, you know, this person is holding on to some truth, holding on to their family, and well, do you know that when you waiting, you keep yourself waiting and waiting, and you lose a lot of chances. Do you know that? All right. So, trust. Your own intuition. Your soul's voice already tells you what to do, and it's time to move on. Really, do not dwell on on it. And you know, it feels like this person is gonna come up to you from time to time, and ask you for a drink, or ask you to have a coffee. Uh, Just offer you something suddenly, and then you have hope, and then from hope to things fading away. So this, I feel like this person keeps uh you in the loop, and then keeps keeps disappointing you, and you are still not moving forward. This card asks you to move forward. So it's it's again like. You know the spread number one. This is deals with family. I feel like this person might have a family behind them, and、uh, even though they are like, oh,、uh, sooner or later we、we'll、leave the family, but it's like no, and you keep yourself in this devil situation, this、uh, vicious cycle, and you addict. You you have some kind of unhealthy. Addiction going on, you know. You are waiting for something that is not going to give you some emotional satisfaction. Move on, people. Please. Okay, now let's look at December. See if you see how you are doing in December. You know, let's see December. Let's see the energy that goes on. In December, December situation. Okay, the camera just the camera shut down suddenly. I have to, you know. Let's see situation. December energy. This card drop. This card drop when I was shuffling the cards. 
What happened to you people? This card again, it talks about obsession. Why the people are so obsessed? Who is watching my video? Come on! So obsessive! Yes, it's passionate, but at the same time, it's so obsessed with something. And this obsession keeps you like, keeps you waiting and waiting, keeps you in the loop, and then you feel like you have no control, and you feel like, oh, pity. You feel pity for yourself. What happened to you? The people who have chosen deck number two, super, super obsessive. Super, I think. Uh, it feels like um, deck number one as well. Deck number one people as well, but in a less degree. But deck number two, it's is this Scorpio energy? Alright, so let me see. Your intuition actually is very strong. And it feels like before things unfold to you, you already know. It's just that you cannot accept the truth and you refuse to see it. Alright? So, in December, when the things that got revealed to you, and you still cannot accept it, I feel like, you know, you still hold on to some kind of hope and um but it's unhealthy really is it's some kind of illusion and this kind of obsession this kind of obsessive illusion really um brings you anxiety in the end it left you like undervalued like you you are not valued. It's not because you cannot attract people who value you. It's because you yourself do not see your own value and keep drilling, keep dwelling on something. All right? You keep yourself in the loop very very unhealthy things are very very unhealthy here all right i see some kind of you know from the previous spread not accept not accepting the truth nine of cups especially this one nine of cups passionate obsessive passion and it, it there's some kind of illusion going on waiting waiting for things to happen yes it's going to happen yes it will finally happen it's oh come on it's you know why you need to work on yourself it's because these kind of unhealthy things obsessive behavior in the end, it, it will left you tired and and unhealthy, mentally unhealthy, emotionally unhealthy. You will feel like you are broke in the end because the the illusion, the illusion, you refuse to move forward. This kind of illusion and. It's all in your mind. It's your, it's all your mind doing funny things. All right. So I feel like in December, finally, someone going to reveal something to you. And you know what? Actually, you already know the secret. You already know it. 
it's just because you refuse to see it, so the universe will bring in someone to reveal something to you and to confirm your intuition. And then you suddenly like your illusion got broken and you feel like oh uh uh feel pity, you feel like you got nothing left on yourself, people are not valued you, people are not valuing you and you start losing faith and everything like even though the the secret got revealed to you 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 still feel like it's not the truth you know five of pentacles sometimes can be like uh you know refuse to accept the truth why because the nine of cups here you know one cup just upset and then a lot of cups and and still holding on to the past lie refuse to accept the truth it's time to move on really I feel like you need to move on and in December you still not moving on still waiting you're waiting for the party you're waiting for someone to come home and you're obsessed about this passionate love and in December, you are not having some kind of gathering because the people, the person that you you are obsessed about, got a family behind them. Got a family behind them. They might tell you that they are taking a break from their family. They are going through separation. They are going through divorce, but but they are not letting their family go. And it's an unhealthy relationship. It's passionate but very unhealthy. I feel like it's a karmic bond. You refuse to accept the truth. You are hoping and waiting. But in the end, this kind of karmic relationship left you tired. But the universe is like, you know, helping you to deal with the balance in your life to trust your intuition you are very powerful to deal with your passion you know the obsession and that passion and that temper stubbornness please let go it's time to let go I feel like this Venus retrograde month Venus retrograde things really the universe is still in helping you deal with codependency all right when you become a whole person you will you will no longer rely on on uh, certain relationship to make you feel whole you know when you come to that understanding you will finally understand what kind of codependency is that what kind of that what is that the meaning of that you know when you're in the process of that you may not understand when after going through all the things after going through and you become a balanced person you become a whole person you will understand finally i can tell you the universe has been working on getting rid of uh, the codependency in in people's life starting from 2016 up until now and the Venus retrograde plus Jupiter transit is going to expand this this uh, lesson highlight this theme I I feel that a lot of people choose deck number two all right so let's see the advice card okay how to deal how to how to cope with the energy okay let's see Virtue. You acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow. Yes, it's virtue. Like why virtue is highlighted? Virtue. It's about uh, patience. Is virtue? You know, the pentacle takes a long time to manifest, especially the page of pentacles. 
takes a long time to plan, to decide. It takes patience, virtue. Patience is virtue. You are dealing with a family man, a man, a a a, a unavailable man, man who has a a family. Virtue. You do not want to get involved and get yourself in this vicious cycle, the devil card. Virtue. All right. Obsessive. You have addiction, drinking problem. You have addiction. Like addicting, asking approval from others, illusion is can be addictive. You know, dreaming and then hoping, hoping things will will improve and not working on yourself. All right, it's also about like uh, uh setting boundaries. Uh, it's also about balance, and or a lot of hidden things come up for you to work on. And the virtue card comes up, it's it's about virtue, I, I feel like it's about setting boundary and really honor people's promise. You know, when when the, the people, the person that you are with, with you like unavailable, stop stop stepping in into that kind of vicious cycle. Okay? Oh, get yourself out of that kind of situation. When the the person that you're with obsess about work, not giving yourself attention, not giving yourself certain time and energy, and not giving yourself a promise, and not giving yourself some kind of emotional exchange, do not fall for them. Step outside, all right? Please do yourself a favor, please. Okay. I need to take a break. Really, it's very tiring. After, okay. I'm happy to do the reading for you, but I will take a break before I conduct the third reading for people who choose deck number three. Okay, deck number three. Let's see what is in store for you from October to December. I have drawn out the card, shuffled the card. It's because my memory card is running out of space soon, so I save time. Let's see October energy. Okay, I feel like um, the eclipse time that happened previously, the eclipse reveal something to you like uh, the eclipse really help you understand something but then you are keeping quiet there's no action taken yet all right and it can be a contract it can be some kind of legal document going on it can concern a group of people and that is why you are keeping it silence I feel like you know something, maybe a secret from a community, maybe some kind of secret concerning a group of people in your company. Um, maybe some kind, some kind of uh, uh, lawsuit, some kind of document. Uh, it's about justice. Like uh, you know that those people are doing unjust, but then since it concerns a group of people more than one person and you keeping it silence you 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 keep silence um just like okay you taking a break and you think about how to how to review something uh, what kind of steps to take uh, you are trying to to think about the steps to take me zoom out okay uh yes even though you know something and the secret got revealed to you you are keeping it silence i i this is how i'm feeling um the eclipse time really influenced the energy surrounding you influence the people around you mm. but then you are okay secret got revealed to you probably from the eclipse time and then 
you are like, hold on, let me think about what to do. And you want to be just. You, you do not want to take side. You know, the situation concerns more than one person. You do not want to take side. You want to take a very balanced viewpoint and to be impartial, uh, to be just. So you are holding on and think about what to do next. And then you feel like um, all the people are guilty, like all the people involved are guilty. And then they all make mistakes. And you know it. And then, and yet, you know this secret, but not yet revealed. All right, so let's see the advice card for you. Advice card. October. What to do in October? Let's see, two card comes out. Responsibility, transformation. Yes, you know the secret. Secret card revealed to you. You want to be just. You want you you want to take a viewpoint from different. Uh, put yourself in different people's shoes and see why. They are like this. Why they make mistakes? And yes, because you want to be just, and you take this responsibility seriously. Maybe it concerns your work. Mm, some legal matter. Maybe uh, you are weighing about the pros and cons of two different ways to do things. It. This kind of things really transformed you. I feel like because of the responsibility that had been put onto you, and it transformed you. The responsibility transformed you, or your own responsibility is to help people transform. Your own responsibility is to really bring transformation to people. This is how I'm feeling. Okay, let's see what to do. What the energy is all about in November. November energy. Yes, there may be some kind of communication document. I feel like there's a signing of contract, or maybe there's a letter uh, coming into you, and it concerns about past mistakes. And then a correction of a mistake. There's some kind of correction of the mistakes, and uh, you have one solution to three people, or you have one solution to three mistakes. All right. So, uh, even though there's some kind of negative energy going on, but then one energy is very very positive. To balance out all the three negative energy, so for example, if you are talking to someone, you have been thinking about signing contract, and you have been dating someone or you have been communicating with someone, it feels like one good things balance out all the other three little negative sides of things. Ah,、uh, it can be like ah.、Uh, Yes, you are dealing with、uh, the King of Swords. Like if you meet someone who is in the communicative work field, legal matter work field, ah,、uh, teacher, journalist, and you see some kind of negative sides of them, some kind of ha- bad habits of them. But then one very very good thing can help you balance out all the the bad mistakes, the bad habits, and it feels like I also see that for some of you, you when you have a lot of negative thought forms, this King of Swords, this person, really can bring out the positive. 
thought forms in you, like you used to think very negatively, but then this person is very strong. This person is very good at handling things, uh, handling communication matter, and it gives you confidence. And when the little negative voices comes to you, and because you get the influence of of this king of soul, you will deal with all the negative little voices with one very very positive thought forms, and then you deal with it, and it brings balance to your thought forms. It's quite good, actually. It's a stable, you know. When you, <coughs> sorry. When you communicate with this person, it's going to be very stable. I I see this stable, uh, mutual agreement. There's some kind of mutual agreement, mutual understanding going on. And. And it feels like the past mistakes got balanced out, and there's a very there's a hope, and things going on very very balanced energy. All right, let's see the cards, the advice card for this. Patience card jump out. Let's draw one more card. Yes, cause effect is about uh, what you reap, what you have sown, what you have done returns to you, like uh, what goes around comes around kind of things. Okay, probably because you take time to work on your emotion, I feel like you are very patient. You become a very responsible and patient person. You become a very responsible and patient person, and very balanced person. And you, you understand your own weaknesses, and you also able to handle other people's mistakes and weaknesses from the past. Okay, correction of the mistakes because you correct your own mistakes. And uh, you attract, you attract a, a person who is very balanced, and really um, keep the promise, keep things attract. And because your past effort, responsible person, patient person, because of, because you have transformed yourself, and cause and effect is about. Karma, what goes around comes around, and it's about you know because you have done a lot of things to transform yourself and to be a responsible person, to be a patient person because you have done a lot of things. You know what? Guess what? Justice comes back to you. It's not coming back to bite you. It's coming back to give you some kind of fulfillment, the balance fulfillment, and so you attract the person. Who is very balanced? Who can give you a promise? Who who mean what they say, and who say what they mean, and who who act what they say? So congratulations of the hard work that you have done. All right, wow, you have done a lot to correct your own mistake, to correct your own uh, bad habits, to come to this point. Just this card, you know. It's because what you have done in the past, and you attract the good things in your life. And when you see, okay, my America died down. Sorry, I have to cut it off here. Okay, this is uh, the December, the month of uh, for December for the people who have chosen deck number three. Sorry, the memory card just uh, run out of space previously. 
and uh, now <clears throat> yes I will since uh, the people who have chosen deck number three I uh, know there's not much to worry about and uh, congratulations I have to tell you because of the past effort that you make uh, the past effort and you transform yourself and become a very responsible and very patient person and it feels like for people who have chosen deck number three you are getting the reward probably is the reward from the planet Saturn the the greatest teacher uh, in the 3d reality so congratulations um, I see that probably uh, in October maybe you found out something and probably you see that uh, there are uh, mistakes that make in the past and you see people making mistakes but you keep quiet or maybe there are things that you need to consider maybe there are some plans that you would like to tell others but then you think that it's not time yet so you keep quiet in October I feel like there's something to do with the eclipse happened in the previous month so um, yes the eclipse reveals something and also uh, for the next three months you see that the eclipse uh, starting to take effect and then bring some something in your life and it's a good change I feel that it's a good change uh, in November it feels like in November uh, there's some kind of communication going on the past mistakes got corrected and um, yes so uh, you are thinking about some decisions trying to think through something in October and in November some kind of serious communication going on and um, it brings you uh, a sense of balance a sense of peace uh, by communicating and some of you may uh, may uh, cross path with someone that carry uh, a king of soul energy who is very balanced in their thoughts who really um, uh, stick to their, their promise and yeah so uh, I feel like there some of you are thinking about relocation maybe uh, re relocate because of job maybe relocate because of uh, some family business I see that some of you may change uh, job some of you will relocate to another city another country um, so maybe in October you think about whether to tell your family or friends and how to bring it up to your friends or family and in uh, November finally uh, you tell your family or friends and so in December finally you have some kind of celebration going on maybe a friend invite you to celebrate uh, maybe you got a job promotion you celebrate with friends uh, maybe you um, have a farewell party with friends before you relocate before you move to another city or another country and uh, maybe for some of you uh, someone is going to visit you uh, maybe you have a chance to travel in December maybe someone from uh, afar uh, come to visit you maybe some of you will will go travel to another country another city so uh, there are a lot of possibility but all the things come together feels very positive so it's it's because you have done the hard work really it's uh, it's the way that uh, the universe is rewarding you so uh, take that with a uh, grateful mentality and congratulations and not f don't forget to congratulate and to thank yourself for the effort that you have put into and to to walk the path and you reach to this point it, it's all about your your effort it's about cooperating with the universe and to achieve you arrive at this point so um, yeah so it's it's going great for you guys uh, people who cho chose deck number three um, maybe some of you are invited to travel uh, maybe a, a destination wedding uh, maybe a celebration coming coming on uh, maybe someone going to visit you and there's some kind of communication going on uh, I feel like maybe you receive a message this is a message uh, there's some kind of invitation maybe invitation to travel to a destination wedding maybe it's a to, to a celebration and um, yes and the people who contact you may be very different from you um, but then you blend well you mingle with them very well 
so there's not not so much to worry about so I feel so happy for you and uh, so uh, enjoy the next three months and uh, yes congratulations uh, thank you so much for watching uh, thank you um, so yes see you in the next video bye bye